Every personality type is super cool the more you get to know them. In today's video, we're going to be deep diving into the personality type of Killian Murphy. Just wrapped up watching about six hours of old clips and interviews to prepare for today's video. Lots of surprising personality patterns. Let's get right into it. They say Irish people are great storytellers, you know, that old cliche. But I love, I've loved story in every, in every form since I was a kid. For me, it's always been the emotion of the story. The emotion is the thing. That is key for me. If I don't feel altered by the story, then it hasn't worked for me. In this clip, notice how Killian's talking about emotion, but he's not really talking about his emotions or expressing his personal feelings about things. But instead, he's more talking about what makes a story effective. What's necessary to make a story work for him or not work for him? I need. I like people to go to the theater and come out feeling winded and emotionally shatters. <laughs> Notice how those words that he's using, they're very like visceral, they're very sensory. Winded, shattered, those are like full body experiences that he's talking about. That's my preference, you know, that you do feel completely altered by what you've seen and you're so immersed in the story and the truth of the story and the truth of the performance. That to me is, is real storytelling. I want people to look at things differently, get a new perspective from what they're seeing. You know, you get tingles when you see great acting, you know, and like you get tingles. no matter where you see it, like if it's above a pub in North London and, and you go and you see a play and there's a phenomenal performance in it, that gives me tingles. Yeah. Again, do you see how he's describing things in this sensory way? Like you get tingles and what gives him those tingles? Seeing an amazing performance, seeing really great work. I kind of liken it to, to playing music you know sometimes when you're playing with another player there's this kind of non-verbal connection you know and it's it, it feels like jazz you know and yeah and that's what it felt like with Downey and Reese. Here again, do you see how Killian's talking about like, in the moment, I can sort of sometimes feel this energy and he's describing it in a very intuitive way, but he's also talking about the moment. I can't really put it into words. It was sort of intangible, but I feel like we just sort of synced up. Like in the moment, we were just sort of clicking. I don't know if it makes it easier, but it, it, you're certainly in it. It's, it's a very immersive experience. You're there, you're, you're living it. Are you guys seeing the pattern of Killian talking again about getting pretty immersed, sort of like swept up into things? Being a in that little boat, yeah. and, but, but presumably that adds a, a value to you as an actor. Yeah, it's only a bonus, really. If your job is to portray something truthfully and honestly, then if, if it's happening in front of your eyes, it helps you enormously, and it's a big advantage. <laughs> yeah, if my goal was giving a truthful response, then of course, doing it for real is going to be quite helpful, an advantage, very effective. In the hours and hours of clips I saw, I noticed Killian did a lot of something called introverted intuition and extroverted sensing. He clearly has this extroverted sensing side that likes getting immersed in the moment, likes using his body to go, okay, what's actually happening now? And in a full body sensory way, sometimes likes getting swept up in the experience of things around him. But at the same time, I notice Killian also has this introverted intuitive side of him that likes thinking about things and talking about things in abstractions, that likes sometimes looking at what's going on around him and going, okay, but what's behind what I'm seeing and experiencing right now. Personality types that use introverted intuition naturally do this thing where they sometimes like going inside their mind to mentally play things out, to try to visualize different experiences, get new perspectives on things, prepare for what might be coming around the corner. And he used this phrase to me, he said, he, he's dancing between the raindrops. And that kind of unlocks something in my mind about how to play him. Dancing between the raindrops. This cue from Christopher Nolan, it's very abstract. It's not clear or concrete at all. But here we can see it totally works for Killian and the way he likes thinking about things. You just giving me that image, that visual, helps me get an understanding of what you might be going for. Oh, okay, you didn't really say it, but I sort of feel like I get what you're talking about. Kind of just put that aside and it all becomes kind of about the moment and the truth. You know, I can't give you one specific point, but there was many scenes in the film, like with Robert and with Emily and with Matt, like they were just kind of electric. You could kind of feel it 
fizzing. At that point, yeah, it isn't intellectual. It's kind of instinctual and, and, and emotional. The sensing intuition combo here, it's so interesting to me. Sort of like, I'm not really thinking about it. There's just sort of this instinct thing. Yeah, being swept up and immersed in the moment, extroverted sensing. But also you can see his intuition. He talks about sort of the truth, like my own personal sense of what things are actually about and what's actually going on around me. The climbing of that tower, that's all real. That, that, that wind was was really there it was amazing the feeling of the wind was amazing but you were okay with that you were okay with heights i would not have wanted to climb out the tower but you seem fine <laughs> that's funny because christopher nolan i think is an ij personality type a little bit more on the cautious side but you seem fine I'm not too bad with heights it's coming down i have a problem with you. <laughs> oh my gosh that little line right there is so interesting thinking about killian's personality type actually jumping into the experience i'm okay with that but coming back down that's actually sort of the hard part a wonderful opportunity yeah i think it's part of the advantage of doing this kind of um <laughs> do you see killian like zoning off here he's like super not present just sort of like wandering around in his head are you aware of the disappointed killian murphy meme on the internet the what <laughs> <laughs> he was actually doing it right then disappointed killian murphy meme i don't it's a meme uh, so in junkets, the people, your fans on the internet are saying that when you're not speaking sometimes, you look like you're disappointed in someone <laughs> a long way away. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, well, I'm glad I know what a meme is. <laughs> so, um, but um, these days can be a little long sometimes. <laughs> you know? just made him terribly self-conscious oh, of himself at the moment. <laughs> Obviously, when he's completely unself-conscious, he's ruined his life. <laughs> Ooh, do you see how he actually is getting self-conscious here, feeling a little thrown off? You can see he's sort of like squirming around. The feelings are popping out in a sort of weird way. <laughs> I, I, I hope not. No. <laughs> if it helps, they look. Well, I thought I was not exaggerating. Oh, good. I was exaggerating. I, think yeah, probably yeah. I was, I was, I was over-emoting for you. No, the thing is, you, you know, you got to talk about these things. And okay, now he's recovered. And 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 generally, it's a film that you're very proud of and excited by. But you know, it can be it can be wearing if you do three days of it <laughs> and sometimes you have a little dream about i don't know i don't know <laughs> seeing him get a little emotionally squirmy keep that in mind for later it's kind of awkward talking about it to be honest with you it's 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 it's, it's strange you don't no one gets into acting for those reasons you know and you try and do and hopefully you get recognized for the work if you have some sort of a career it's it's down to you think has to be down to ability or else you you know you'd be disposable you have to be judged by ability you have to be good and competent or else you're disposable you're not useful or necessary did you see him there saying that this sort of like pass fail way of looking at things that's very t extroverted thinking so have you been executive producer since the beginning you know for me it was very uh, illuminating really because Generally, as an actor, you know, you turn up, you do your work as best you can, you say the lines, you go home. This was the normal process. And then you see it a year later or however long it takes to make the product. That's a terrible word. To make the piece of art. <laughs> that little slip up, did you see there? That very detached way of looking at his work, his art. Like, even though he clearly is very passionate about story and his work, all that sort of stuff, he's still able to go, okay, but it's still a product. This was a very interesting exercise in, you know, having to watch the edit. My own performance in a kind of a completely objective sober sort of way that's it was useful to be able to just look at myself very unemotionally right you can go in the edit room and you can actually sort of ask questions about your performance and your take I, I don't do that i don't you go don't in the do edit that. room i i would not go in the edit room that's a that's a sort of that's a a sacred place for the director and the editor no 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 that's not how things should be that's not how things work but when the edits of you know, it'll go through various edits. Sure. Each. You get a, yeah. Yeah. Then, then you can talk. About but it. when it's a different part of the process, then yeah, that makes sense. One of the other super loud, clear patterns that popped up a lot with Killian Murphy is that he definitely uses extroverted thinking. Extroverted thinking is a way of sorting things out and prioritizing things that really likes taking the emotion out of things, sort of zooming out to go, what will get the job done? What will be effective? Extrovert thinking personality types are really good at systems thinking, resource management. They're personality types that naturally like thinking about the big picture logic behind how things work, how things get done, how things can get solved, which makes it so they're really good at looking at things and even themselves in this very executive 
pragmatic way. They're good at going, okay, that's a resource. I'm a resource. This is useful. This is helpful. How can all of this be put together in order to help things get done? Worst note a director has ever given you. A director once asked me, am I a good director? So, I mean, that's the end of the relationship then. They're looking for validation it, from the, the, the actor, the this, director. This goes the other way, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see how chill he is? It's really interesting to me, you know, this pass fail way of looking at things where he's like, ah, oh, dude, that's not how things work. You should have that taken care of. That's not being competent. The, the actor, the this, director. This goes the other way, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, hmm. Weird <laughs> need you was. <laughs> Did you guys feel that on set? You're like, he's so young. <laughs> no, actually, no, it, it didn't really feel like that because he's such a good actor. And no, I didn't think about his age. He's good. He's good at acting. He's very competent. So why would I judge him based on that? I try to do as much research as possible to have it all available. And once you've done that, kind of leave it behind. You're aware of this as background, obviously, that these people existed and lived and died for it and how heroic they are. But ultimately, you have to make the best film possible, and it is a piece of entertainment. And Ultimately, the goal is making a good movie and making it entertaining. Well, it's not fact. You have to kind of let it fly a little bit. You know, because you are, you want to entertain, that's your duty more so than to educate. Pay attention to that pragmatism. Do you see how comfortably Killian's like, no, what's the goal? What's the objective? We need to focus on that. There are things to be sensitive about and aware of, but ultimately we have to know what the goal is and focus on that. You don't really like talking about yourself. There's yeah. a distinction though. I okay. love talking about the work and this movie in particular, not, not so much about myself. This is super true and actually made the preparation analysis for today's video a little extra tricky. In the hours and hours of clips that I saw, I did look around for Killian getting a little more expressive and emotional about his own personal feelings about things or own personal values about things. I kept looking around for examples of him using extroverted thinking and introverted feeling together like an ITJ personality type, but to my surprise, I actually didn't find any examples of him ever doing that. Going over to LA and doing camera tests and makeup tests. Right. So the sort of terror morphs into like just focus, right? Then you get this really crystal focus on what you have to do. Do you see him there setting the feelings aside? Yeah, I was scared. I did feel terror. But eventually I just had to focus on what needed to get done. For me, every day you'd look at the call sheet and you'd see like Ken Brown is coming in tomorrow or Gary Oldman's coming in tomorrow or, you know, Matt Damon and uh, or Downey. And it was, it was just just unbelievable you know but you you just keep have to you have to focus on your own job <laughs> That was actually the little tiniest bit of his personal feeling. Yeah, it actually did feel pretty amazing working with all of these talents. But even then, I had to remind myself, no, I have work to do. I have a role to do. Let's focus on that. Killian Murphy, his extroverted thinking was a lot stronger and nonstop than I was expecting. Now, online, I noticed there's a lot of people that think that Killian Murphy is an introvert, an INTJ personality type. And I think it's because, you know, is Killian super talkative and loud and expressive all the time? Definitely not. Is he socializing a lot with people? <laughs> no, didn't really see that either. However, when I took a closer look at how Killian's introverted intuition, extroverted thinking, and extroverted sensing were all working together, things just really don't line up with him being an introvert and definitely not an INTJ personality type. All live theater is absurd, isn't it? Because at any point, so many things can go wrong, fail. And I, I like that. I think if you ever were cruising, then there would be no challenge and, and no excitement and no danger. It has to feel a little dangerous, I think. Yeah. You have to feel, I don't know if I can do this. And then you go at it. And that drives it, that, that gives you the hunger and the energy to, to go at it. Killian's extroverted sensing, it's not inferior. He actually talks about it quite a bit. He really, really pushes you, but I respond very well to that. And I said it to him at the beginning, I said, Chris, just keep pushing me, keep pushing me. And he really did. It was exhilarating. It was exhilarating, getting pushed. The roles that I love are the ones that you go, oh, fuck, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if that's possible. It's, it's yeah. so, so terrifying and you just dive in. Killian talked about liking to jump into things sometimes, being okay with some 
and chaos and spontaneity, reacting, problem solving in the moment. You can you can experiment. It's a it's a laboratory. Yeah. You know, you can try things and make a fool of yourself, and, and that's okay. That's that's the kind of the beauty of this business. It's so unpredictable and wild, and you don't know what's going to turn up. Even if there are high stakes, an element of danger or unknown in it, he said he found it exciting. And you know what personality type that really really lines up with? Killian being an ENTJ personality type. If you guys were interested in learning more about introverted intuition, I think you guys might enjoy this video right here as well. If you guys are interested in learning more in depth about your personality pattern, seeing more examples, some extra analysis and reaction videos, I think you guys might enjoy some of the extra videos that you can find right now on my website, linked down below in the description. You are the change maker of your own life. Let's think more deeply. See you guys in the next ones. Peace, peace, bye.